Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another video which this time isn't a beauty video because I won't be able to do that this week probably. <laughs> I thought it would be like fun interesting to vlog this week. It's now Tuesday March 1st the beginning of a new month. We're starting a whole new chapter you know and it's gonna be a pretty interesting week for me because I have a very important deadline this Sunday, which I need to work hard on. I have a couple content creation things I need to do. But also, I'm gonna have a very small surgery tomorrow morning. It's this thing, this little stripey here. They're gonna take a biopsy of that and they're gonna need to like take off the nail and then get a little biopsy and then put the nail back and such. Um, it's, I, it's very, very minor. And it's not gonna take a long time but this is the first time in my life i've actually had some kind of surgery or like i'm like this is kind of also the first time in my life that i had to go to the hospital for myself like of course i've been to hospitals when my grandparents and my mom have been in hospital so i visited hospitals of course but this is like the first time i've actually been there for myself i've been very lucky and I, I have pretty good health and i'm very happy with that it's gonna be fine it's gonna be like a very 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 minor surgery thingy that's gonna take like an hour and then i get to go home um but it's gonna it's gonna be like really dramatic because i have to wear my arm in a sling for a few days apparently i don't know why but they told me i'd have to do that so i won't be really able to do a lot of things because of course i can only use one arm and um then of course I have that deadline on Sunday for which I need to do a lot of typing but then of course I for a few days I can only type with one arm and then for the other days I can't type with this finger probably so for the fact that I'm probably gonna stay home the entire week it's gonna be a pretty interesting week <laughs> but yeah I'm at my parents place I'm gonna get ready for the day it's currently 1 p.m I woke up very, I didn't wake up very late, but I got out of bed very late. I've been having like, you know, it's my, it's my general winter depression thingy where I can't get out of bed on a normal scheduled time. Um, so I just got out of bed. I made myself some breakfast and I got myself like yogurt with grizzly, some fruit and some white chocolate milk and I got my vitamins. So. I'm just gonna have a lovely, lovely small breakfast first. I really want to make sure that I eat properly. Then I have to pack my things, take a train to my room in Nijmegen because um, that's where I'm getting the surgery in the hospital over there. So that's what's going on. Then I gotta do some grocery shopping and then work on that deadline a bit because I want to have it finished as much as possible before I can't properly type anymore you know and then tomorrow morning I have to take a bus and be at the hospital around 8 a.m so it's really early and then I think my dad is gonna pick me up from Nijmegen because he realized like I, I hadn't even thought of that either but he realized like gosh then you have to um, take a two and a half hour train trip with a backpack and a suitcase while you only have one arm <laughs> because the other one's in the sling so um, I was like oh yeah that's true yeah I haven't really thought about that so he wanted to take some time off and probably come pick me up um, so that's really nice I hope he's able to because that takes a lot of uh, stress off of me as well it sounds so stupid it's the most minor tiny little um surgery ever but still i'm very nervous about it i've never had anything done i don't know how much pain i'm gonna have i don't know how inconvenient the sling is gonna be or how much i can or can't do so it's just annoying and I'm a bit stressed because I just don't know how it's gonna happen, you know? But that's why I sound so anxious about something that's like so minor and little. And it just sounds stupid almost, but you know, it's fine. I'm just gonna have this lovely little breakfast first and watch some YouTube. Uh, ooh, or Boba Fett. I'm gonna watch some Boba Fett. And then... No, I'm gonna watch YouTube because there's a new, other new video. 
I'm, I'm gonna watch YouTube. And then I'm just gonna pack my things and get going, I guess. And I'm sorry, this intro is already very long. This vlog is gonna be very long. I'm really sorry, but um, bye. <laughs>
every single movement I do, I just get this flare-up inside the finger. It just feels like... Like maybe it's just the, the more blood is going into the fingers and it feels just like the pressure and the burning sensation and the pain just rises. I'm allowed to take six pairs at all day. I just took my third and fourth. I hope they work. They probably won't. And I'm just in bed. And I'm gonna watch Boba Fett now and just try to distract myself. <laughs> this really isn't a fun vlog. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I could have shown you the inside of the operation room. That, that was fun. Like the operation itself was actually kind of fun. I didn't mind it at all. Um, the, the, the anesthetic shots, like those were terrible. I, I'm, that, I'm terribly afraid of needles and those hurt. They were really bad. So I didn't like those. But after that and my finger was just completely numb, it was fun. <laughs> They were just working on it. I, I wasn't really looking. I didn't really want to see my nail entirely clap back from my finger, you know. Um, but they were just working. It took about 20 minutes. The OR bed actually was pretty, like, comfy. Like, I was real comfy over there. So, I didn't mind at all. But now, it really isn't fun anymore. I'm gonna clock out now. Good morning. Um, It's Thursday, March 3rd now. I am still in a lot of pain. After I did the little video yesterday, the pain only got worse. It's just really not nice. I did manage to sleep quite properly actually. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to sleep at all, but I did catch quite a lot of hours. I have the like luxury that I don't really move in my sleep, so I was able to sleep in the position where I could have my hand upwards. And I just slept like that all night. You know, that worked pretty well. I did wake up a few times, but i pretty sure I got like 9 hours of sleep. So, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling pretty well rested. In general, I feel good. It's just a finger again, so um, I'm still in bed. Um, <laughs> I now have the task of um, putting my sweater back on. I'm also I'm wearing my most comfy underwear set. It's like a lounge underwear set because it's first of all it's really fucking comfy. I want to wear that but second of all I just realized like I'm glad I'm still wearing that otherwise I would have taken off my bra last night and I really would not have been able to put it back on. <laughs> like I slept like this and then I could put like YouTube on that way, which was nice. So I just stepped through a bunch of videos, but like at the first time I woke up, like I did like a really decent sleep the first hours. Like I fell asleep around 11.30, I think. And then I woke up at like five. So that was a pretty decent amount of sleep in one go. And when I woke up, I was like, huh pain is gone well this is great and then slowly the pain was like coming back so now it's a lot of pain again this looks absolutely ridiculous i'm so sorry but this is the most comfortable way to hold my hand currently I'll just be pointing at everything all the time <laughs> gosh this is such a weird vlog i did finish book of boba fett last night which was really good i really liked it so now I need to find something else to watch. Let's first get ready for my day. And let's get some breakfast somehow. Hello friends. It is another day from my bed. This is my permanent uh, position right now. <laughs> this morning, like a few hours ago, my mom helped me take all the bandages off. And my nail looks absolutely disgusting. So I'll show you right here. So just a little warning. This is gonna be my nail. It looks really disgusting. There's some blood and some stitches. Um, it's it's not looking really nice. So if you don't want to see that, skip to the timestamp that is on the screen right now. It's just gonna be a few seconds, and then you, because it, you know it's part of the process. I want to show you, but I also don't want to freak you out. So if you don't want to see it, skip to this timestamp, and then we're good. So just a little warning. 
here's my new. So yeah, it looks um, gross. Like it, it still hurts as much, if not more, than yesterday. Because the thing is now I can explicitly feel where everything is. So I can feel the stitches hurting. And you know, that, that's kind of gross. And my finger is swollen on all sides. So the skin is also very, very stretched out and sensitive. And the skin hurts. Um, so yeah, my entire finger is really hurting. When taking off the bandages, there wasn't that much blood. It actually surprised me, it wasn't that much. So that's great. And now I, I am still wearing my sling for a tiny bit, just so, because it, it relieves the pain a bit. Um, so I will be wearing it off and on today. And hopefully now that there's lots of oxygen and air coming into the wound, it will heal a bit faster. So maybe I will be in a little bit less pain tomorrow. I'm gonna try and read a book today, so I'm gonna hold the book. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep my hand a bit moving because the finger has already gone quite stiff. It needs to be moved, but you know, it's also in pain, so I can't really move it a lot. And I'm not looking at the finger because I got so nauseous. Because now I could see everything and I could feel the pain with it. And it just made me so nauseous, I was just about to faint. So I'm trying not to look too much at my finger. <laughs> and I'll let you know if I'm able to read a book or not. Good evening. It's still Friday. And I actually had a pretty good day eventually today. Like after I had taken off my bandages, the pain had really started to like go down. And in the evening I barely had any pain. It was also really nice to not wear any like band-aid or anything. Um, now I am wearing a band-aid because I don't want to like hit anything or get stuck to anything while I'm asleep. But the band-aid is actually more painful than not wearing a band-aid. So I will try to not really wear a band-aid when it's not necessary. You can see it's still a tiny bit blue over here near the bottom of my finger where I got the anesthetic that is nearly gone now too so yeah when you see me like this you think i just cut my finger for a tiny bit and that's it so but yeah i'm doing a lot better so i'm gonna try to do some more productive things tomorrow and attempt to take a proper shower so that's also nice maybe do some makeup like i'm really in the mood to do at least a tiny bit of makeup but we'll see tomorrow i wanted to check in because i've actually had a pretty good day eventually so um i'm gonna attempt to sleep again and i'm gonna wish you a good night hello oh, i think it has been like approximately a week since we last talked it is now sunday the 13th of march as you can see i'm doing great last thursday i had to go to the hospital to get my stitches out and i got the results from the test and it was all good no weird cells or anything so your girl just has a fun little mole in her nail and that's fine. Yeah, it's all good. I'm very happy about that. And now today is my final deadline for my review article, so I do really have to work on it right now. I just wanted to get like one final last check-in to tell you that I'm doing good. Feeling really well, haven't had any pain in a few days. I'm just wearing my nail like this. There's just a lot of dried up blood underneath and that's about it so it looks just as if I've had my finger between the door or something and that's about it so mostly sometimes a bit of discomfort when I hit my nail against something but that's about it so we're doing great and yeah so I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here because it's been a week not much interesting has happened <laughs> except for that it's just one final thing that I wanted to tell you <laughs> So I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog right here. I might do a vlog in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog and all my socials and my gaming channels link down below so you can check that out as well. And if you want to see more vlogs, please let me know because if my life gets interesting enough again, then maybe I'll do more vlogs. 
I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!